hello and welcome to another short video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can connect to the testnet using the SUM app. So in order to do that you can click on settings and go on to the advanced section. There you can select the node so then you click on node and you can select the node to which the transaction and where the data should be uh, well fetched from. And here you can see the mainnet nodes, so the websockets for XML link, s to the Ripple or XOP cluster.com. But you can also, for example, set it to a testnet from sorry, testnet.xoplabs.com. And if you click on that and now go back to the main account, you can see now there is no balance on it. Because right now we are connected to testnet and on the testnet I don't have an account for here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the XOP testnet faucet, so I'm going to also link it there. So on the xopl.org slash xop testnet faucet, and there you can generate your testnet credentials. So right now it's generating an account, and on that account, that account is pre funded with 1000 XOP. So testnet XOP, they're not worth anything. So then you copy the secret, and then again go to the to your exam app and go to settings, accounts, and import, add account and port, uh, full access family seed and then paste the um, family seed there. After you did that, standard, and I'm gonna just go test another ACC for account. And there we go. So you can see here now my test account with a balance of 980 XRP in total. If you click on explain, you can see the total balance of a thousand. Because as we might already know, the minimum reserve currently is 20 XRP. And yeah, and now we are all set and done. Now we, we can in interact with the testnet. And doing so, uh, we can also, for example, we can, we'll now do a transaction. First, I'm gonna um, also get the XOPL.org website here. So here you can see all the created blocks, block after block, created every 3.8 seconds. Here in this case, it's on average three seconds. And now if I do, would do a transaction, for example, if I would send XOP to, well, I now have to generate another account. So I'm gonna click on it again and just copy the address here. And now we can just go to, um, well, for example, we could send 10 XOP here to that account. And now confirm that next. And I'm gonna confirm that. And now if we just look at it, it any second our payment is gonna show up here and it's probably there, there it is. So that payment here was us. So right now we are on, on testnet.xopl.org. And right, so right now we've sent 10 XOP using the XOP ledger testnet. And yeah, that's how it works. Uh, and you obviously using the sum map. And yeah, that's how it works. So you can, for, for example, also create multiple accounts. You can fool around a little. You can also log in to the um, XOP toolkit on a test domain. Um, that also works. So going to test.xoptoolkit.com and clicking on afterwards on add account. And there you can go to uh, also use the, the sum, sum app uh, in order to authenticate. So it also works. So you can, for example, if you um, don't feel confident enough to use the XOP toolkit on the mainnet uh, with your own account first, you can also try using the testnet. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.